y'all, it's Laura, and it's been a while. I just wanted to sit down and kind of do this type of video, just kind of a little informal, conversational thing before I get back into my usually scheduled routine that's been unscheduled for about three months now. I just kind of chit chat about why that was and what's up, and I kind of did one of these videos back in January, remember? I've, I've done this before. Basically, since 2017 hit, I've just felt unmotivated. I felt uninspired. I felt like what I was doing wasn't good enough. And while some conversations on Twitter and on YouTube did drain me, um, that wasn't the main reason I left. Like I did need a break after that. And I was wondering, do I still want to do YouTube? Is this still something that's um, viable and what I should be doing and putting my efforts and energies towards? I explored a couple other options. I'm like, could I be happy with this replacement for YouTube in my life? Could I do this? Could I fill, find something else that would fill this void? And the answer is no, is and all the other things I was doing, while they were helpful and good for me, they weren't what YouTube is for me. When I started this channel a year ago, I was unemployed, and I thought that if I could build an audience quickly enough, I could start earning money from that while I was still looking for a job. I don't know, I thought I could become like a famous YouTuber in like a year. <laughs> so while I can go about this in a professional way, um, I don't need to do it in a professional career income sort of way if that makes any sense so definitely hitting a year with youtube and then just a year with my job it's got me thinking about my path and my trajectory in life and what i want to do and where i want to be and i still don't know i still don't know the answers i still have fears about that i still have fears of failure i'm still learning to figure those out and that's okay i think my fear of failure is good because it drives me to be better and do better it just kind of sucks when you actually do fail. I've had to come to terms with who I am in the past few months and learning from those failures, not that there's anything wrong that caused the failure, it just, it happens. Part of that was also why I wasn't on YouTube, it's just my personal life exploded into nonsense and so that was good. <laughs> I've been coming to terms with that. It's still an ongoing process. I'm still an ongoing process. I'm a work in progress, if you will. Connor Francis book reference, no? Okay. So one day in the memoir of my book, the chapter of my life that was January through March, 2017 is gonna be a wild ride. I think I've grown the most in these three months than any other point in my life. And it's been a lot to manage, which is why I've stepped away. But I'm back and I realized that I still have to manage those changes while still taking care of me and doing what I want and pursuing my goals and dreams. And so in the past few months, I've learned to prioritize myself and to put myself and my needs and my wants and what makes me happy above basically everything else. Like I've become my own bae. I'm not quite certain the whole lifespan of this YouTube channel, but for now, I need to enjoy the path that I've started for myself and I can't just give it up without fully seeing it through. There's so many more ideas and goals and things I want to accomplish with this YouTube channel for myself and for y'all that I haven't done yet and I want to do that before I end things and then that passion motivates and moves me in a way that I wasn't passionate about before three months ago when I was like yeah I'll always do YouTube in the past three months I've considered ending it and being like do I want to shut it down do I want to put it into it all and the answer is no this isn't something I can walk away from this isn't something I can leave this is something that's important and true and real in my life and I need it. I don't know what comes next, none of us do, but knowing more of who I am and what I can handle and what's important to me will help me in the path moving forward of figuring out the next chapter in my life because this chapter is closed. It's gonna be a riveting ride in my memoir. I'm never gonna write a memoir. Like, I hope you know I'm like completely sarcastic about that. Like, just in general, like if you think of your life as a book and the chapters that define you and that you are worth mentioning, this is a chapter in my life that's worth mentioning and it's, y'all are gonna be shocked. So I just wanted to make this video that it's okay to be afraid to fail and that it's okay to not have things figured out and it's okay to prioritize yourself over actually everything else in the world and that is completely okay and valid. So this video isn't really about books. It's definitely about myself. It's definitely about my channel. It's a complete, utter nonsensical video because I didn't script it or plan it or anything. I just knew I needed to chat with you. So I'm glad we're chatting. This was a good time. Thank you for joining me. Um, and until next time with regularly scheduled booktube content, I will see you all then. My name's Laura. This has been Bookies and Cookies. I post videos sometimes. 
And I love each and every one of you. And I hope you never forget that you are loved, you are valued, and you matter. Thanks, y'all. I've become my own bae, and I love it. Bayra Bono. Bakeys and cakeys. I'm gonna change my YouTube channel from bookies and cookies to bakeys and cakeys, and we're just gonna eat cake. I'm awful. Don't let me do internet things ever again. Ugh.